So today I'm going to be doing the closet confidential tag. <clears throat> That's the first time I've spoken today. I didn't know I was husky. Late night last night. Anyway, let's get rolling. We've got a lot to get through. So the oldest thing in my closet are these little painted cherry red shoes. Now when I was a little kid, these were my favourite shoes. I was very proud of them. Um, apparently, my first doctor says I ran into, um, what do you call it? in the appointment room and um, just said, check out my new shoes, do you like my new shoes? And just kept showing them off to him and he's never forgotten that. 20 something years later, he always brings it up whenever we bump into him. So they are very special little shoes. The brightest thing in my wardrobe is probably this maxi dress. Hard to see, but that's the print. I found it in a vintage store in LA I went to LA on a whim. I'd broken up with my boyfriend of four and a half years. I thought, what can I do that proves I'm independent, that I'm all right, you know, do some soul searching. So I went off there on my own. Had an up and down time, but it was good for the soul, as they say, um, and found this lovely number, which was lovely for the hot weather with a straw hat and a denim jacket. Still love that, it's got lots of memories. Another super colorful item is this Henry Holland a Sacred Heart shirt, very reminiscent of you know, the style in Romeo and Juliet, the Baz Luhrmann version. I love this shirt, can't get enough of it. I'm, I'm selling one because I got two by accident, so if anyone's interested in it, get in touch, comment below. Now the biggest waste of money, it's not because I don't like it, in fact I really love it, but um, I've never worn it and I just don't think it's me. And this is this Oliver Olivia Rubin dress metallic kicks out like skater skirt style it's really lovely and it fits like a glove but i've just never worn it so if anyone wants to purchase this or interested get in touch it's it's really high quality lovely thing and the other one that was a bit of a waste of money was this henry holland kind of tie-dye turquoise denim dress it looks lovely on the really skinny, really tall models on the website, but for a normal shaped and sized person, it's a bit too sack-like. Um, it looks nice actually when I pin it in when I wear it, but I just can't always be bothered to do that. Which is a shame, because I do love it. So there's that. Favourite gift is probably my Drop Dead uh, varsity jacket. It's just... One of those pieces I really wanted in my wardrobe and the lovely people at Drop Dead sent me it and I just love all the details, the embroidered dog, the kind of statement back there. I'm, I'm a bit gutless and I'm not very daring with my clothes but this kind of, when you wear it you feel kind of like, Ur. And another gift was this genuine, genuine, who do I think I am? Genuine NERD hat that an old friend gave me. Obviously I'm never going to wear it but it's quite a cool item to have and I've always loved Pharrell. Back in the day I went to see NERD, I think it was at Brixton Academy before he did his solo stuff so love that. Really good affordable things that I've gotten a lot of wear out lately. It's these kind of Vans replicas you can get from Primark. I think one of these cost me seven quid and another pair cost me four quid. And I think they're pretty much just as good as Vans, dare I say. Obviously they don't have the selection of designs that Vans have and I do love Vans but I've got to watch the pennies and these do pretty good so well done to Primark for those. Another great um, affordable item I've got from Primark recently which has been getting a lot of wear are these boots. Um, I've got them in black as well. I think they're only £15 and when you think that you know like Timberlands and cats are you know, nearing the hundreds or over a hundred. Get these, if they get ruined, you chuck them out and get another pair. It just ties you over for a bit, great for winter. You can wear them with dresses and stuff or just wear them with, you know, jeans and they're pretty cool, aren't they? Asking me to pick a favorite black item is extremely difficult because I have a lot of black. So I just picked one that I enjoyed wearing or can remember enjoying wearing and this was this ooh, this Motel Rocks um, dress um, that I wore to the Krang Awards last year not this year um, so you can't wear a bra with it well you can if you want but um, it's kind of see-through at the back with this netting um, 
short kind of cute but kind of edgy because of the netting yeah really comfortable and not too expensive so there's that so my most comfortable items in my wardrobe are these uh, drop dead joggers they're really hot so you kind of have to wait till it's a bit chillier but so snuggly look they're just like fleecy and warm so they are gorgeous and this nasty girl um, jumper that a loved one got for me for my birthday last year just one of those sloggy slouchy jumpers and it's got pockets and I love anything with pockets goes with a lot as well so there's that my favorite white item in my wardrobe at the moment is this misguided kind of mini dress stroke long t-shirt um, I'm not sure it actually suits me that well but it's really comfortable and I like the mesh detail on it. The biggest bargain is this Alexander McQueen full length gown. Just zoom in on the details there. Um, it's very long, very luxurious. I think it's Duchess satin. Um, I worked with, at McQueen for a bit a few years ago as an artwork assistant and um, we had a sample sale while I was there so I got this for it was no more than a hundred I think it was a bit less and obviously for a McQueen gown that's really good. I don't know when I'm ever going to wear it, but I just couldn't not get it. Um, hopefully, I'll go to some swanky do at some point or have a reason to wear it. Um, so there it is. Oh, I do love it. Right, so my current favourite outfit is the following. So this misguided um, sweatshirt that's got this nice zip detail at the back. It's kind of translucent as well, so you can see your brassiere underneath if, if that's what floats your boat. Um, this Topshop skirt, which, can I just add, I bought this before Alexa Chung was seen in it, so I'm not jumping on the bandwagon. Um, but I do love it, it's very 1960s. And it's a nice length, not too short, but short enough. Um, a girl's greatest accessory, perfume, uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, my favourite. Um, and because I think there's detailing enough on the jumper and, you know, the skirt pattern, I just go for this simple uh, cuff to go with it. So, yeah, I think that's about it. If I've missed anything off and you want to know anything else from my wardrobe, um, put a comment below. Um, sorry if I've not made much sense today. I'm, I don't drink, so I'm not hungover, but I'm whatever the sober version of that is today. So, sorry about that. I um, hope you enjoyed, and please subscribe if you did. Thank you. Bye.